<laughs> so what we're here for isn't to brag about how Dylan's getting women coming up and talking to him again. It's actually super. I mean, we're just hanging out. Well, hold on. Sure. Even sure. even at my low point, though, I've been able to get like I've never had a problem. That's like so. Like the thing is, I didn't realize I had this skill set. You know, like some people are just naturally good at it. And even even in my low points where I'm like broke, you know, at the poverty level, I've still been able to get women because I don't have I don't have those like fears or whatever that a lot of people have because of entertainment and working in the industry and doing all kinds of like like if you're a guy and you have trouble, um, you're you get embarrassed or you're scared of public speaking. One of the best things you could do is uh, look in your town or the next nearest city to you and look up improv classes and they'll do like improvisa uh, improvisation has the weirdest, most uncomfortable warm ups, like embarrasses the shit out of you. I have embarrassed the shit out of me in front of tens, solid tens on the worldly scale, like the hottest chicks in Hollywood. I've made an ass of myself over and over again. So it's like I've already made a fool of myself in front of the most beautiful women in the world. You think I care about some seven or less? You know, no, I don't. No offense. I don't. And that's what I'm trying to like help people get to is like you as a quality man are much more of a priority are much rarer than a beautiful woman. And a lot of guys don't know that. A lot of guys just see beautiful women and they turn into that white knight like, oh, if I could only win her over with my heroic deeds, I know. I'll go show off and like dunk a basketball or throw a touchdown or whatever the fuck they think they got to do to impress the woman. It's just, it ain't happening like that. Except they don't be... do that because they're out of shape. They yeah. don't play any sports anyway. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, uh, so that is a skill that I can help people with. And, and it's all about being comfortable in your own skin. And some of that comfort comes from looking good. And you don't have to be born naturally good looking. You can make yourself look good. How many times have you seen an ugly guy that if he was not jacked, he would look like the biggest nerd. His face isn't even good looking, but he's with like the hottest chick at the bar. You know what I mean? There's a reason for that. He's bigger than you. He's speaking to her subconscious mind that he can protect her, right? Women don't want a violent man, but they want a man who has the capacity to do violence in case they need to be protected. And a lot of this stuff is all operating at a subconscious level. Um, and that's why people are so resistant to looking at it because the men just want like a spreadsheet. Just tell me what I need to say. Just tell me uh, what, what, what are my lines? Want. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's like, no women tell you everything through their behavior. They're very subtle about it. And you have to pick up on that language. It's kind of like the work that we do with the language of the birds only as an, so like as an actor, my job was to basically look at a screenplay and every line, I have to figure out what the subtext is that is underneath that because nobody is actually just writing something to fill in the space. There is an undertone behind that. So like when you say like, uh, you know, I need a cup of coffee. You can say that in a variety of different ways that means something else. Like I need a cup of coffee and all of a sudden there's something I'm telling you without telling you. And if you get what I'm saying, you know, it's like you can pick up on the message. Well, that's very much how women communicate. And a lot of guys, myself included, can't pick up on it. And then we end up zeroing ourselves out because we get hurt because we're unable to pick up on those cues. And we're unable to look at things from a realistic perspective. And that's what we've got to change as men. And one of the first ways to start doing that is to stop pursuing women and focus on being a better person and a better version of yourself, you know?